Hello, today we'll be drawing Trapdoor Snail from Adopt Me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started. I'm going to start off with the body, so we're going to select a nice brown color right around here to start. And we're going to start with the circle to the left of the page. Once you have your circle done, we're just going to add in a little bit of body to it and fill it in. With the body done, we're going to add another layer, go a little bit lighter, and we're going to add its first antenna right here, and then go up, give a little curve, and fill in. Instead of drawing the same one, uh, another antenna on the same layer, we're going to add it right behind the body so we can add it behind the head. So from here, we can go up, connect, fill for the second one. And a layer above the body and select black and we're going to give it the eyes. And go big cute circle for the eyes. Tap on the screen with a second finger to round it out. And then we're going to duplicate the eye to get the same shape. Drag the second eye below the body so it's behind Using the move tool, we're going to move it to the side. Out like so. Once you're done with both eyes, let's move over to the shell shape. The shell is below the first antenna, but in front of the body. So let's add a layer right between those and then go for a nice orange color for the shell. And you go down. Let's make it a little bit brighter so we can see. We go down at an angle, hit the body around here, and then we're going to go up from here from the shell to this point, down to this point. And then once you're done with that, just connect it all and fill it in. Oops, there might be a little disconnect right behind the ear of the antenna. Let's clean it up. Let's select the inking brush to get a stronger eraser. Smooth this out. It's looking good. Let's add another layer of shell behind. Using a slightly darker color, let's add the second layer of shell. We're going to go up slightly and back down and fill. Make sure everything's connected before you fill. And we're gonna add a new layer, clipping mask on this layer right above this orange shell. And we're gonna add in the highlight color or the stripe and fill. And then we have all our layers prepared to do some painting. So now all we have to do is alpha lock every layer by double tapping each layer and alpha lock. We don't have to alpha lock the last one. Actually, we don't have to clip mask the last one, but we want to alpha lock it. Now, switching over to the airbrush, we can start doing some 3D painting. So soft airbrush. Let's do the body first. We're going to select the body, select the color, go slightly darker, and let's see how big our airbrush is. That's a little too big. Let's go for something this size. Well, let's wash in some rendering. Let's color the head white again or lighter again. We just need to wash in the shadow and then since the shell is above we need some cast shadows on the shell. Down. Slight, let's go even slightly darker on this body. Right towards the middle. Let's go dark, dark, and some shading right where the antenna and the eyes are. And on the opposite end, we need to add some light. So we're going to go much lighter. Let's add in some light right here towards the center of the head. 
do some blending real quick with the finger. Blending tool. Now let's select this color down here and let's go a little bit lighter. Let's see if we can add in a lighter color on the bottom. Just to give it some bounce light. And using the blending tool, let's smooth it out just a little bit. Like so. That's looking good so far. I might want to move in this highlight just to round out the face a little bit. And darken the edges just a tiny bit more. Looks good. And now we're going to do the same thing for each antenna. Let's go on this one first, selecting this darker color. Fill it in because it's in shadow, it's like facing towards us. So most of it is in shadow. So I started with a darker color, and now we can pull in some more light to it by using the lighter color. Once you're done with one antenna, we're going to move over to the other one. On the back this time, selecting the shadow color. We want to shade in the sides and the contact point just slightly. Let's make it a bit darker so we have way more depth. With those two areas done, let's move over to the eyes. The eyes is really simple since it's just a black beady eye. We can just add in a slight light. Like so. We go a little bit softer to start. And that's all you really need. Now onto the big shell on the back. Selecting the main color, we're gonna go a little darker again. And then maybe a little bit red. Right here. Go across up around this point, and then we just want to wash a little bit more towards the bottom, blend in everything with the blending tool. Layer in maybe a stronger shadow color and a lighter reflective color. While blending. And with the shadow done, let's work on the highlight area. Go much brighter yellow. Let's keep it a little bit more orange work on the highlight area just a little bit and then go really bright towards the middle right around there that's our main shell and let's work on the shell in the back same process go a dark color a little bit of reflective color brighter color blend And a little bit of a highlight color. Just enough. Let's blend that in. With the white band, it's simple. We just let's let's start off with pure white. Go a slightly darker blue for the darker color. And let's let go for a lighter blue for a reflective color. And then blend. Going back to the main shell on the top, we could add in just a little bit of a shadowing towards the edge as it meets the white to give it some depth. We're almost done with the drawing. All we really need is some highlights. So adding a layer on top of everything, 
Let's draw in some highlights this time with our inking brush, Studio. Let's go pure white. Draw a big white dot and a smaller one for the highlights of the eyes. And then for the body, let's go light but not pure white. Off the antennas and finally the shell. You can also receive its own highlight. With highlights in, we want to erase to soften up a little bit of it just so it's not so graphic. Select one side of the edge to shell soften. Same thing for the eyes, just soften. And then let's see if we can add some more depth. There is some separation we can add to the shell using the airbrush before we call it done. Switching to the body, we can darken the body just a bit more, right on the edge. Maybe a little bit more around the eyes. And there you have it! Your own 3D trapdoor snail in Procreate! Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.